Let's play with points on the Cartesian plane. Here I have my Cartesian plane with a whole lot of points plotted on it. First, let's identify which point has the coordinates 4, negative 3. 4, remember, the first one is the x, which tells you how far left or right you've gone. So in this case, you've got 4 steps to the right. And then your y is negative 3, which means you've gone 3 steps down. And so the point that has the coordinates 4, negative 3 is i. Which of these points have a y-coordinate that's bigger than 5? Now remember, your y-coordinate tells you how far up or down you are. So if we want the y-coordinate to be bigger than 5, we want to be any, any points that are more than 5 steps up. Well, where's 5 steps up? It's that red line. So any points that are more than 5 steps up will be above that line. So we're talking about the points A, B, and C. Now if we asked which three points have the same x-coordinate, what we're looking for there are points that are the exactly the same distance to the left or the right. If you look here, these points A, D, and H all are exactly seven points, seven steps to the left. So those three have the same x-coordinate of negative 7. Now if we're asked which three points have the same y-coordinate, in this case we're looking for three points that are the same distance above or below. Well if you have a look here, those three points are all four steps up. And so they have the same y-coordinate, which will be 4. Now we, if we are asked to plot another point with that y-coordinate, in other words, with the y-coordinate of 4, we could plot it there. Another one that is exactly 4 steps up, so has a y-coordinate of 4. And if they ask us to plot another and another and another, well, there's another and another. All of these points, can you see, have a y-coordinate of 4. And in fact, any point that lies on that big pink line will have a y-coordinate of 4. Let's look at some other questions. What if I asked the following? I'm thinking of a point that has a y-coordinate of 0. Where must my point be? Well, with a y-coordinate of 0, it means you haven't moved anywhere up or down, right? In terms of the up-down movement, you've taken no steps. So do you agree with me you could be somewhere like that, right? At that point, that green dot has not moved up or down. But that is also a place where it hasn't moved up or down. And that's also a place where the y-coordinate is 0. So hopefully you can easily agree that if the y-coordinate is 0, you have to be sitting on the x-axis. Alright, what if I were thinking about a point on the y-axis? What can you tell me about my point? Well, if I'm sitting on the y-axis, the y value doesn't have to be anything specific, right? There are many different y values on the y axis. The thing that doesn't change is the x value. On the y axis, the x value is always going to be 0. Because when you're on the y axis, you haven't moved anywhere to the left or to the right. Now take a look at that little pink piece that I've colored in. Can you tell me of anything about the various points that lie in that pink piece? So just let's look at a few points that lie in that pink piece. There's one. There's another one. There's another one, right? Taking on a whole lot of different y values and a whole lot of different x values. What, when does it not sit in that pink piece? It's when you move too far to the right. In other words, you're moving 
beyond x is minus 5. And so all the points that lie in that pink part have to have their x-coordinate being less than minus 5.